All right, another round of winter like weather will impact everyone this week, and that is hurting some businesses who are geared up for spring. 41 Action News reporter Belinda Post shows us why some green thumbs, well, they're frozen. Here at the Woolitz Farm, the family who runs it was experiencing a different kind of Easter. They were putting out these roll covers to try and protect their strawberry crop. Broccoli, onions, blueberries, and two acres of strawberries make up the farm. Owner Jerry Wallets hopes that 34,000 strawberry plants will bloom despite the late frost. These uh, buds are uh, safe down to about 23 to 25 degrees. Temperatures near that low are forecast this week. Farmers Jane and Jerry stroll their grounds looking at months of hard work threatened. Well, we may not be able to open at all if we don't have a product. Uh, we're still early in the spring. This tarp adds at least four degrees, but strawberries do best when growing in 50 to 70 degree temperatures. Today's temp was around 30. This is just part of raising strawberries in the Midwest. The sweet red berries bring agritourism and 1,600 people each Saturday in May. Other plants like broccoli sell for $3 a head at farmers markets, but they believe now the blooms will be too small to draw value. Uh, we're a lot uh, more hopeful and optimistic about the strawberries this year than we are the broccoli. Blueberries are a hardier plant, but more open buds like these may be killed by the cold. This variety here, I'm a little worried of, will I get a harvest out of them? The couple says it could lose ten dollars to $20,000 in supplies and hours worked, maybe more depending on how the crops and weather hold out. But they say they've got faith in the farm. That plant there, it's going to uh, turn out to produce a lot of berries. Fingers crossed, eternal optimist that we will have strawberries. Since the farmers believe this broccoli was damaged by the weather, they may plant sweet corn in its place. Reporting in Lawrence, Belinda Post, 41 Action News.